welcome everyone so today we are going to solve a very nice algebra question which is x square plus x is equals to 9120 so first thing let's do the first step which is very very obvious to all of us this is basically a quadratic okay we have x square plus x minus 9120 we'll put the constant on this side and make it equal to 0 so now this looks like our very own quadratic equation which is nothing but what ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. So now from here how do we do this? See now again 9120 it's a big number okay so finding finding factors of this number gets a bit tricky okay. So a lot of students thought that let's use this way x is equals to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a means this thought of using the quadratic formula that is absolutely fine the only trouble happens that whenever you are solving things like this and it has a big number okay at that time things get a bit difficult especially when you need to find a root and you know you need to calculate and everything it's not wrong it's absolutely fine if you can do it but if you can't then i'll give you a hint or i'll give you a method with which you can literally find factors like literally in more than not more than five seconds you can actually solve this literally not more than five seconds and trust me when you're appearing for any of these exams you saving time is your first priority because like obviously like you know when you have time on your hands then you can actually solve the tougher questions which you thought that you know you need time or you know there are a lot of times when you like okay if i had time i would have solved it okay so in this case this particular trick will help you to get that much time now coming back see let's focus let's focus on this number which is what nine one two zero okay now if you look closely this number is obviously smaller than 100 square right and it is greater than 90 square right why because we know 90 square is what 81 and double zero which is obviously much smaller than 1120 and then 100 square is nothing but what how many zeros one and four zeros that is nothing but 10,000 okay so now from here you've gotten an idea that your value of 9120 or the factors of 9120 can lie between these two 90 and 95. Now another hint which we can understand is we can sorry 90 and 100 square okay. Now what we can do is let's try and figure out what is 95 square. Now squaring any number with a 5 at the end is very very easy. Why? Because all you have to do is put 2, 5 at the end directly. And then next what you do is you take the number, the first number and multiply it to the number which will come next to it. So what is the number which comes after 9? That is 10. So 9 into 10 that gets you 90. Okay. So now I know that 90, 9025 is still smaller than 9120. Now another thing which you can figure out is see you have a 0 at the end okay so obviously now if you had multiplied 90 into uh, 91 yes you would have gotten an answer which the last part would be 0 but now if you look closely if you multiply 90 with uh, 95 97 98 okay or we multiply it with 99 also here also we will get an answer which is smaller than 9120 okay so obviously 90 we can't consider now in that case what we can do we can consider 95 okay so now we know 95 either we would have done 95 into 4 or 94 sorry into 94 or we would have done 95 into 96 because if you remember our question had an x we need a difference of one digit okay so for that matter either we do 95 into 94 or we do 95 into 96 now we know that 95 square only is smaller than 9120 so obviously we'll try for 95 and into 96 
and you will realize that when you do this you get the answer as 9120 so like i said you can literally do this with these kind of methods as well okay these kind of questions are actually asked just to you know test your presence of mind so x square plus x we have minus 9120 that was our question now as we know that the factors are what 95 into 96 that gets you 9120 now since you want a plus 1 on the uh, coefficient of x so here what we can do in that case is we will do plus 96 minus 95 so we will have x square plus 96 x minus 95 x minus 9120 equals to 0 Okay, now what you can do is let's take common. So x is what taken common. We'll have x plus ninety six minus. Then we'll take ninety five common. So then we'll have x plus ninety six. Okay. Now please understand. In this case, what happens is whenever there are people who get stuck in quadratic by quite badly. Okay, so whenever you are doing this. you know taking the common part you need to realize that if both these brackets are same then you are doing it right way okay so when obviously now let's take the entire bracket common so we'll have x plus 96 and then we are left with what x minus 95 okay is equals to 0 so now this much is done so now we'll have x value is equals to sorry no my bad students please stick around to the end i'll tell you from this only once you figured out the factors how you can directly jump to this particular step i'll tell you at the end okay so we have x minus 96 x plus 96 is equals to 0 or we can say x minus 95 is equals to 0 so now i can say x is equals to minus 96 or x is equals to plus 95 now coming to the point where i told you that we can literally do this you can literally come to this particular step now how you can do that see we all realized that the question had two factors okay x square plus x minus 9120 equals to 0 and we knew the two factors are nothing but what 95 and 96 now we wanted a plus 1 so we will do plus 96 and minus 95 so all you had to do was just do what x minus 95 and then you do x plus 96 that way also you can say that by the value of x is minus 96 or the value of x is plus 95 i hope you have understood how to solve these kind of questions literally literally in your in your mind now okay so now um, apart from this if you have any doubts then please let me know so in the comment section that's it for today i will see you in the next video